Judge George Daniels in Manhattan rules that Iran is responsible along with Al-Qaeda and the Taliban for the 9-11 attacks on New York and Washington. What? Remember when Iraq and Saddam Hussein was on this list? And nowhere on the list is mentioned Pakistan. How quickly everybody forgets that the head of Pakistan ISI wired $100,000 to purported World Trade Center hijacker Muhammad Adam. And while we're on Iran, Pentagon says Iranian disruption of the oil route will not be tolerated after Iranian Vice President threatened to close off the trade cutting off the oil exports if the West imposes sanctions on Iran's oil shipments. Anyone who threatens to disrupt freedom of navigation in an international trade is clearly outside the community of nations. The community of nations. Sounds like a bunch of crackheads calling crackheads crackheads but without using the word crackheads. Our GOP moving vote count to undisclosed location. With a few days away from the first primary vote and Ron Paul leading the pack at 24% to Romney's 20% and News 13%, these numbers vary depending on what time it is. We should all know where this road leads. The numbers will vary, harsher words will be spoken, discrepancies will pile up, and in the end, the actual outcome, never really known. Homeland Security to hold secret meeting on domestic extremist threats. What they really mean is extremely ticked off people. With the list of domestic terrorists that we have seen over the years, naming Ron Paul supporters, people who question the government's actions, people who believe in the Constitution as possible terrorists, we can gather that pretty much everyone who's not brain dead is extremely ticked off at the illegal wars that we've been fighting, the crappy jobs that they've been doing with our money, at the erosion of our civil liberties. Oh no, I said liberties. <laughs> All the lies these turds have been caught in time after time after time. The ancestral nastiness between our government corporations and international bankers. <laughs> Look at the things that they do, but somehow just because we question them, all of a sudden we're the problem? What? They send others to fight their money battles and then won't even take care of those soldiers when they get back here to this country. 9-11. 9-11. 11 We've heard about as many times as the level of our national debt, but when it comes to taking care of the first responders from that day, it takes 10 years and it seems to be something that they didn't really want to be bothered with to start with. Well, perhaps if they ain't out and out lied about the air quality so that they could get their buddies on Wall Street backing up an operation or stealing more of our money, they wouldn't have had to been bothered with this in the first place. And it's no surprise that Congress grew richer over the last six years as Americans became poor. Like we did not know this. Perhaps we didn't. Maybe we thought that these ancestral shareholders were feeling the recession just like us. Maybe that's why they've been working so hard to fix our nation's problems. <laughs> No. Uh-uh. No. No. These are the same turds who go to Las Vegas and spend $5,000 on a burger while wearing an $18,000 pair of flip-flops exclaiming they understand the American people. <laughs> the only thing these turds really understand is those $5,000 burgers and $18,000 pair of flip-flops. And that when they're done screwing us over some more, that they have a nice job waiting for them at some corporation that you haven't heard of before. Or maybe you have. But if you haven't, they'll be easily identified because they'll be the ones sitting there with their hands out for more of our money that we won't even have a say in because these turds twisted the rules to make it so while they held positions in our government. This is the world we live in. A world where we arm people, countries, then bomb them to disarm them and then turn around and sell them more weapons. Again, a world where it's okay to kill suspected bad guys. Suspect an idea or impression of the existence, present, or truth of something without proof. Without being the key word here. A world where we drink bottled water. Bottled water. A world where people are starving to death while others throw tons of food away each and every day at the all-you-can-eat buffet. A world where we can complain about unfairness at every turn of our lives but yet support it when it's in our favor by exclaiming, well, what do you expect? Life isn't fair. A world where the ego rules the battlefield for the sole purpose of saying I was right and you were wrong. Only exclaimed by the ones with the biggest weapon. A world raped and pillaged so that a few can eat $5,000 hamburgers and wear $18,000 flip flops while the rest of us hate each other for whatever reason they tell us to thinking somehow that this will put us on the winning team. Guess what? It doesn't. I'm changing the channel and I'm out.